pub in the park, celebrating the great British pub. This is the brainchild of Tom Kerridge, and every festival celebrates everything there is to love about the glorious British pub. So you got delicious food from famous chefs, you got chart-topping music to dance away to, and you've got great drinks. But there's only two things wrong. Number one, it should have been called Pug in the Park. And number two, there's no dogs. <coughs> but anyway, let's go and see what happened at Pub in the Park, Wimbledon 2022. So queuing up for the uh, apple kocha uh, uh, food. Okay, here we are with the uh, apple dishes. So you got the, um, the right hand side, fish curry. Left hand side, you got the uh, mashed potato chicken tikka masala with some kind of sauce on it. Let's go for the mashed potato chicken tikka masala first. That's quite nice. What's it like as it goes in? Let's try it. Mm. Oh, she's really tasty. Mm. Mm. It's all right, mashed potato. Mm. Nice chicken masala plate. It's really good. Surprisingly good. Mm. It's got a really good, mm. Mm. really good curry flavour to it. Weird combo with the mashed potato, but works quite well. And the nice um, sort of sauce on the top. Mm. Quite satisfying. I mean, mm. it's obviously meant to be like the best Indian chef. I wouldn't say it's the most, the most extraordinary uh, Indian food I've ever had, but we're not bad at all. Let's try this fish curry. Fish curry looks cool, man. Fish curry looks nice, though. You just get quite a decent portion of that. Each of these costs seven pounds, which is quite a lot, really, because there's not much there, is there? Everything seems to be the same. Every store has food for seven pounds. We don't get much. Let's try this fish curry, anyway. Mm. Man. Mm. Nice. Mm. I'm not entirely sure that's cod. It could be like Pangasius, one of those fishes that is sort of farmed quite heavily. Can't tell. The fish itself is not amazing. The curry flavour is, I mean, bit being almost non existent. So mild. I suppose you could say it's like South Indian, but it's so unbelievably mild, it's been almost non-existent. Well, it's alright. It's not the most amazing, it's very kind of mm, South Indian, so you can see you've got the, um, got like the curry leaves, got the little, um, black, um, and the mustard seeds fried in it. It's incredibly mild though. I mean, far milder than I would have said you'd expect to have as a dish. It's just quite bland in all honesty. Not bad, but I remember. Just a bit average. Um, this, the mashed potato. Mm, mm, I don't. I don't actually like the fish in that. I'm sure it's not cod. I'll see what fish it is in a minute, maybe. If I can find it. But it's not the most amazing fish. Smashed potatoes and batter. Mm. The chicken tikka masala is not bad, but again, in a way, now you've had the other one. It's not quite bland. Not a lot of spice. Not. Mm. Not as amazing as I thought it would be. Interesting, though. Interesting. Slow thrill moment. Ian Beale from EastEnders seems to be running this uh, Star Inn place over here. There he is. Prance around in the green. Serving the food. Slightly bizarre. But, um, what more do you want? Yeah, he seems to be making the food quite nicely. Everybody, so here's my uh, pheasant served by Ian Beale. Oh, look at that. That pheasant looks amazingly good, actually. So this is Kentucky Fried Pheasant. Looks 
good, doesn't it? Mm. With a sriracha sauce, I think. Let's give it a go. Mm. 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 Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Sriracha sauce, good. Coating is quite crunchy. Oh, it's got a nice flavour, actually. Mm. It's quite a. It's quite a thick coating, but oh, oh, quite pleasanty. Weirdly enough, it almost tastes like um, turkey stuffing. Oh, it tastes like turkey stuffing to it. Mm. Good. Star in. Mm. The Star Inn, I think, which is supposed to be a one of the oldest, one of the first pubs in the world to go into Michelin Star. Situated on the edge of the North Yorkshire Moors, 14th century tax pub. Nice. Anyway, good. good. It's, it's, it's a bit, almost a bit processed inside. I can't. Mm -hmm. It must be like minced up pheasant. Home. Quite chewy. Well, it's actually rather good. Oh, there's a little bit of coleslaw in here as well. Oh, it's Sriracha straw. It's quite nice, isn't it? Mm, spicy coleslaw. One more go. Sorry, go. Tasty, mm. mm. you wouldn't know it. I suppose you wouldn't know it's not chicken, it's pheasant. It's good. More interesting than the actual chicken stuff, huh? it's more weird. Okay, nice one. The sunset of the on meat burger. Uh, was good. Actually, this hot dog is there. But they're giving away free samples here, so let's go and have a look. Uh, see what it's like. There we go. Right. So where do we want to get? I want to get the... Oh, cheers. Yeah, you haven't got the sausage as well. My son said the sausage was just amazingly good. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll come back for sausage later. Okay, cheers. Okay, so you obviously heard that. They've run out of the sausage at the moment, but we've got this beast. Looks nice. Beyond Meat Burger. Let's take it back with the uh, Beyond Meat Burger. Let's give it a go. Let's take the skewer out. Right, what's it like? Mm. Yeah, it's surprisingly good. Mm. There's no way you think it's a real burger, but it is tasty. It's got a very similar texture, but it's slightly softer. Let's just try the actual meat. Mm. The actual meat is really good, actually. It's a bit like a McDonald's burger, very really soft. No. Nice, I like it. Hmm. Rating? Hmm, rating. Hmm, come the halfway out of ten. You go, crazy hot sauces with the Carolina Reaper and blueberry. There you go. To make it a bit more palatable. Oh, can we can we try them with a little stick? Yeah. Oh, nice. Which one are you gonna try? <laughs> Which one are you going for? I was the first one. You know what? You're the Carolina Reaper. Okay. Okay. I'm going Carolina Reaper. Maybe that's too much. Okay, everybody, let's test it. It's hot. It's a really nice flavour, actually. Yeah. It's got a decent flavour. What's it like? What do you think? That's good. It's not as madly hot as I thought it would be actually. No, so there's it's quite, yeah, it's there's quite nice. Chili extract in there, just the natural heat of the chili. 20% mm. of the sauce is the chili, so. Okay. They're hot, but it wouldn't be edible. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually edible. I think the other one we got at home is hotter. Yeah. Yeah. And I do have super hot as well, which are hotter. They're more like barbecue sauce. Okay. You don't need to really go any hotter than that, do you? This is, this is good. Yeah. You can use it, yeah, which is nice, isn't it? VIP lounge, everybody. What more do you want than a VIP lounge <laughs> in a pub in the park? I'd love to try one. We just tried a Carolina Reaper over there. 
What should we try this time? <laughs> mild to wild. Mild to wild. <laughs> um, which do you find? Ghost? Or, or should we just go wild? Let's go wild. Let's go wild. Nice. Thank you. Okay. All oh, right, man. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me film you as you eat it. Right, have you got it? Dip it in. You here? You going wild? Right. Go on. Let's see the verdict. Good flavour. Good flavour? Madly hot or okay? It's fine. <laughs> it's very cool. It's very cool. Right, let me let me try it. Let me try it. What do I think? It looks good. Mm. It's nicer flavour than the other one. Mm. Mm. It's quite hot, but it's nice. Yeah. Mm. It's different. It's got quite a, it is a, like a peppery, hot pepper yeah. sauce, and it's got a peppery feel to it. Yeah, I like mm. it. Quite different to the Carolina Reaper one, actually. Right. It has like three different uh, peppers. It's got three different ones, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's really cool, actually. It's tasty. Our traditional types of gems, oh, okay. and these are the two, uh, three are flavored uh, fruity gems. Oh, okay. Let me go through them for you. Sure. A lot of dry gems are 27 cents and the best lovely dry gem in the world. Oh, really? These just come from beans from South America. Oh, wow. It gives it like a very sweet... Bespoke... Oh, it's a charcoal oven. Made in Britain. They're bespoke charcoal ovens, basically. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Nice. Good colour, is it? Uh, fun. Hey! So, <laughs> oh, I'm fine. These are entertaining, aren't they? They're mad. Yeah. Oh, so this is coal. That's for your ash pan. The coal goes in here. Oh, the coal goes. down there. Yeah. yeah. And it's got nine different cookies. It's a style of cooking that comes from restaurants, but what we've done is reimagined it for home use. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so it's, it's got an industrial silicon seal. Oh, so. Stainless, the whole lot. So, this is the kind of thing you couldn't really put in a house? No, it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how it's very cool. 5K. 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 But they're made well, in the I UK. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you those two. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, so, yeah, but uh, you know, they're going like hotcakes, which is fabulous. 